you don't mind me taking a look at your service record on camera. I don't have to. But um, let me know if it's okay with you. Otherwise, I will not do it. Yeah, we ended up not winning that gun carriage. Let's take a look and see where I ended up on that gun carriage battle. I don't think I did too well on the team, but that was a pretty bad team. <laughs> I came in fourth on an off. I did 289, I came in fourth. Wow. Of course, I came in... Yeah, here, I came in 289, brawl 200, 300s. These, their 200, 300s are down here. Okay, cool. Uh, Xylotac, that's your name? Okay. Let's look it up. Alright, let's see here. How do I want to look this up? I think I have to go through here. There we go. Okay, Xylotac. Okay, 47. Yeah, you've got 3,200 battles. 47% after 3,200 battles is not a problem. That's fixable. That guy had something like 17,000 battles. That's more than I have. And he was at... Was it like 45, 46, 47? Somewhere in there? And there's a, actually a huge difference between 46 and 47. There's a huge difference between 47 and 48. It's when you start to look at it, it really does take the form of a bell curve. Let's take a look and see what you've got here. Okay. Let's see. My first suggestion. Find the tanks you do really well in them. And continue to play those tanks to get better at the game. Uh, you might think it's kind of like an easy mode thing. No. If you're really good at playing the Hetzer, continue to play the Hetzer. Uh, the 1C is just kind of a throw-off tank. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun to play, but, I mean, it's what it is. 59% uh, in the T-28, that's a respectable win rate in that one. That means you know how to play that tank and you're getting along in it. What this right up through here tells me about your tier 5s and at tier 6 on the jumbo is that you haven't quite figured out how to play heavies or the higher tier TDs yet. Uh, when you're getting the win rates up in that area, hold off. I, I would say stop playing tier 5s. I would say get back into your 4s and kind of get them, see what you can do to get these improved. Uh, just to kind of gets get a little bit better stuff like yeah you've got even like in your scouts it looks like you're pretty good in your scouts uh m3 lee i've got 50 battles and, or no i think i've got 100 battles and right out of 50 percent win rate in that thing uh go ahead and if you still have it play the lee get better in it uh your matilda matilda's a great tank to build up experience in and get better in uh use your F su5 get better in it i mean use your at2 to get better in it uh, when you sit and you play some of these, I hate the toaster, you have a much better win rate in your toaster than I have. But I think in a lot of these, get jump into your tier 4s some more. Play those, your better tier 4s. Play those until you feel really, really, really comfortable in them and you know kind of what's going on. Hey, General Surfer, how are you doing? Um, but uh, go ahead and jump in there and... Because what, what you, these stats are showing to me is that you're doing pretty good at the tier 3, tier 4 level. But then once you start to get into tier 5 is when it really starts to hurt. Uh, some of these are just the combination of the tanks and the guns. Like the SU-85B, I never have been a big fan of that one. Especially with the first gun. Uh, but each one of these has their own thing. 41% uh, in the KV-2. I would never suggest the KV-2 to somebody uh, in, in a lot of the tier 6 battles a lot of the tier 6 tanks, a lot of the tier 5 tanks I wouldn't suggest any tier 5s until you get up about three to 4,000. Tier 6 is when you get to about four to 5,000 and and only if you're getting really good at, and by really good I just mean you want to be at 
at 50% win rates, you are better than 60 to 75% of the player base. And that's just one of those things that some different people have... Uh, let's see here. Hey, Montana, your WN8 is... Oh, you're about uh, around which one? Um, how many battles do you have, General Surfer? Oh, never rebuy the Lee. <laughs> you got a good win rate in it. It looks like you were doing a good job. I know people just hate... I, I, personally, I kind of like the Lee. It, it's one of those that a lot of people don't get. But uh, General Surfer, how many battles... Uh, do you have, and well, I guess also if you don't mind me looking at your stats, is General Surfer your in game name? Or if you don't mind me looking at your stats, I can grab that. And actually, what I can do for some of this is I can also take a look at... Uh, if you have... A good way to take a look at your stats otherwise is to go to uh, Noob Meter. And one of the things you can do there is... I'm going to go ahead and take a look on noob meter. Okay, so noob meter. Uh, yeah, you're it's showing you as being below average. Uh, look at the efficiencies in the WN ratings, and that'll give you an idea of what you've got going on. Um, looking also at that, and let me see if it's showing that for Xylo. Get that spilled back out again. I want to see if it's in there. Let's see. Statistics. Where's the important one? There it is. Battle survived. 18%. That right there also tells me that what you're doing is you're going out and getting killed a lot really fast. Okay. And let's see. General Surfer. Yeah, because that went, that battle survived. That's an important thing. You get, you need to have that up around thirty percent. Uh, your hit rate, you need unless you're playing a lot of arty. Like I've got a lot of arty, my hit rate's horrible. Uh, but it's, but if you can get your, if you're playing mostly uh, TDs, mediums, heavies, you want your hit rate as close to about eighty percent as you can get. And you'll see some guys with it higher than that. If you start playing arty, that number's going to start dropping. Okay, let's see. General Surfer. Uh, General Surfer from Snark. Ha <laughs> ha. General Snurf Surfer is trolling me. Yeah, see, this right here is what you want to have. 56%, 33% on Battle Survived. Yeah, 4,000 battles. Are you a reroll? Uh, started to worry about WN8 at about battle 3,000. Let me see here. General Surfer. Let me see here. I just want to look at that. Right now I'm looking at Noob Meter. User entered your channel. Hey, Smash. Hey Montana, how's it going? Doing pretty good. I'm uh, talking to some folks on Twitch. Okay, oh, yeah. that's the web page for Noob Meter. If you haven't been there before, you can look yourself up, and it gives you some information. Uh, what I'm seeing on General Surfer's statistics page, you've got a lot of good stuff there. Uh, and I mean, at 4,000 battles and you've got 56%, part of that, I'm guessing you're playing some Clan Wars. Uh, part of that, yeah, I see Mastery Badges, 11 of 90 Mastery Badges for Ace Tanker. Um, average experience per battle could definitely go up. Average damage per battle of 400, that could definitely go up. But let's see what your statistics say. Yeah, your WN8's 1312. I think it has to get to be 1500 
So you're playing a lot of company battles. Yeah. I'm going to get back to the right window. Yeah, tank companies at 3,000 start helping the win rate. Yeah, that I see that you've got. Well, yeah, but you've only got uh, you've got 4,000 battles. Uh, about a fifth of those are tank companies. Yeah, that's going to statistically help channel. those numbers a lot. Uh, your average damage is good um, for your most recent battles, but I'm thinking that what you need to get up is your... you need to get your average kills up. Because uh, you're getting... Uh, right now you're below one kill per battle. If you get your kills up, that'll help. Uh, and, I mean, really, it's just a lot of it is trying to get in there, get damage done, get kills. I mean, that's really the two easiest things you can do to try to get your WN8 up. Uh, if you look at your WN8, uh, just to, from Noob, Noob Meter's own description of the WN8, uh, it's looking at damage, it's looking at spotting, it's looking at kills, uh, defense, and wins. And so your wins are already there, your damage is already pretty well there. Your, I don't know about your spotting, your, your kills need to go up, and your defense points can go up. I mean, that's one of the things you could do. One of the things you can do, and I think it's just good practice anyway to help keep your win rate up. Is if you're, if you're trying to get your, uh, just in any battle, if it looks like there's any chance that there's going to be an issue, winners are going to go back to cap. If you're, especially if your team's starting to get behind, if your team's starting to get behind, stop charging. You'll see this in teams lots. Um, you'll see it in battles all the time. Uh, you'll just see them just keep charging into the into the teeth of the enemy. One of the best things you can do is you can pull back. And when I'm thinking about it, that's exactly what I'll do. Is I'll start to pull back a bit. Uh, but uh, let's see here. Does anybody have a? Uh, preference or quest for me to play on a different tank.